Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So a lot of people have asked me about whether the new release of macOS Ventura is going to improve the performance of games, especially over the older macOS Monterey. And this is due to the fact that Apple's new graphics API Metal 3 has just been released with macOS Ventura. And games like Resident Evil Village make use of brand new Metal 3 features, for example Metal FX upscaling, which dramatically improve performance at a small cost in visual fidelity. So today is going to be a short video, we're going to be testing out the difference in games running on macOS Monterey and Ventura, and we're also going to dispel some of the myths around how Metal 3 works, and what kind of performance improvements to expect in the future. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So in the end, I've tested three different games running on both macOS Montreal on the left and macOS Ventura on the right. This particular game is Company of Heroes 2 and unfortunately we're not really seeing any particular difference and this is going to be a theme. Looking at the average frame rate scores, we're getting a difference of only 0.28 frames. And this is not really a variation, it's within the margin of error. Similarly, I tested out the game Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and the benchmark shows that the frame rates are within one FPS of each other throughout. Here, the average FPS is pretty much exactly the same 0.4 FPS difference, something that's barely noticeable. Finally, I benchmark Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and again, this shows almost identical frame rates throughout. Within the actual benchmark results, macOS Ventura is up by an average of 2 FPS, which again is within the margin of error. So what gives? Isn't Metal 3 supposed to make games faster? Isn't macOS Ventura supposed to make games run better? So the fact is that in order for a game to take advantage of the Metal 3 graphics API, it has to be programmed using that API. Metal 3 isn't some kind of driver that applies to every single game. Games have to be specifically adapted and programmed for it in order to take advantage of any performance improvements. For example, the game that we're benchmarking now, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, has been programmed with Metal 2. And Metal 2's performance on macOS Monterey or Ventura is going to be virtually the same. Unless Feral Interactive decide to update the game to Metal 3, then nothing about the performance should drastically change. However, the exception to this is going to be a game like the recently released Resident Evil Village. Now this game makes use of new Metal 3 features such as Metal FX upscaling. And despite using these new Metal 3 features, it's supported by macOS Ventura, but it's also playable on macOS Monterey. If you try to run the game through Monterey and go to display settings, you'll see that Metal FX upscaling has been greyed out. However, once you run this game through macOS Ventura, then the Metal FX upscaling option can be turned on. Make sure you do, because Metal FX quality provides a substantial 10 FPS or more frame rate boost over having Metal FX turned off, which is basically what you're going to get when you're running the game on macOS Monterey. Furthermore, Metal FX performance mode boosts FPS even more, however, at the cost of visual fidelity. If you'd like to find out more, make sure to watch my recent video all about Metal FX. So it looks like in the end, if you want to get the performance benefits of Metal 3, then games need to be reprogrammed to take advantage of them. And it's very likely that other AAA games coming out in the future will take advantage of Metal FX, for example, No Man's Sky and Grid Legends. And it's very likely that these are going to require macOS Ventura in order to take advantage of them. So do make sure to do an update anyway, you're probably going to need to in order to play some of these games to their full effect. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.